experienced just this quietness. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to learn how to tune out. All kinds of things come to your mind. Like, oh, I got to pay the bill. Why not do this? Why not do that? Oh, I got to do this. You have to just let all that float by until you get to emptiness. Right. And then just try to hold on to that non-thinking. Right. Right. You're not asking for nothing. Mm -hmm. You're just sitting there trying to connect the spirit. Right. And... I I did. Mm -hmm. I connected the spirits. Right. I saw some amazing I take medication for mm -hmm. I really wouldn't discuss with people right. until now because people are starting to right. open up and learning more. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> please, I've been there. Mm -hmm. So anyway, one of my uh, in one of my occasions, I was walking down the hospital, uh, coming down the hallway, and there was a white woman standing in the doorway. She had on white, it was an old white lady. Right. She had white hair. And something was coming down from the doorway. It looked like a cord or something. I don't know what it was. Mm -hmm. And she said, sign your name in the book. And I said, what book? And she said, the book right there on the desk. Mm -hmm. And I signed it, hot chick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it woke me up because I said, I don't talk like that. Right. I don't say hot ah, chick or right. anything, you know, like that <laughs> towards myself. Right. And it woke me up and I said, oh my God, I can feel it. Mm -hmm. And I was. Wow. And a week later, when I went to the doctor and, you know, they did the blood test and all that, it took them three, four days for me to Right, because right, they couldn't believe it, right. And they were like, you have to come in here. We have some news to tell you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I went in and they were like, you're healed. This is a miracle. And I was like, oh yeah, I know I'm healed. They were like, you don't act like you surprised or anything. I said, well, I knew a week ago. Mm -hmm. You know, I knew two weeks ago. Right. But they have been pressing me to get a transplant. Mm -hmm. I mean, hard, hard. pressing me. Right. Okay? Like, Look at this paper. I mean, talking to me like that. Right. Look at your kidneys. Look at this. Because they know they can fix it. And I was like, I made my own way. I don't think I'm going to do that. And they were like, why not? I don't know. I just don't feel don't want it. right. Because they be pressed because there's it's so much money involved. But it's not so much that. It's just that I had a, from meditating, mm -hmm. I had a calmness about me. And I knew about life and death. Right. Death does not scare me. Right. It did not scare me. Mm -hmm. Because I was connected with the other side. Right. And ever since then, mm -hmm. people come to me. Family members, mm -hmm. friends that have passed that I'm close to. Right. And they'll talk to me. And I was like, this is wrong. And the information they tell me is true. Right. I had to confirm it with people. Mm -hmm. Like my neighbor in Channel Square. Mm -hmm. I had called her one day and her daughter answered the phone. And I was like, what are you doing there? You were in Texas. And I said, don't tell me. And she said, yeah, my very past form. And I said, oh my God. I said, well, I was going to ask her a question. I said, never mind, I won't ask the question because uh, your mother will come to me and I'll ask, I'll ask her. And she said, okay. So her mother came to me that night in a dream. And she had eyebrows. Thick black eyebrows. And she was sitting on the piano. And she said, I just moved into this apartment in High Rise in Channel Square. And I didn't get a chance to put my Pictures and something else she said. <clears throat> um, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. I was amazed. She was sitting talking. We were talking just like you and I. Sitting right. And I was like, oh my God. Wow. So I called her daughter. I mm -hmm. said, Your mother said that she moved into the high rise and blah, blah, blah. I told her all the information her mother said. She said, Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I was like, What? Mm -hmm. That was the first experience, you know, the second experience mm -hmm. I had. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why. Yeah. yeah. But when you get to a level where you meditate, mm -hmm. all, right. Bye -bye. all right, nice to meet you. And you are full of love and bliss. Mm -hmm. That's your connection. That's your to, right. You have to get that out. Yeah. It's like That's I, a I, lot. It, because... That's what I'm saying, like, my meditation go well, but uh, I can't get the connection because 
It's like it's not that simple. Like what? Uh, it's like I'm I'm enclosed by closed mind. Like I got my mother. She won't. It's like let until I let her go because she. It's like we always she always attacking. But so I can't. Doing that around other people. No, she. Like, no, I'm saying even. So, it's like I'm so I have to be around her. Well, I was. I was getting better now, but yeah. at the time, cause she was watching my kids till she got sick. Yeah. So she is like. So I I'll do meditating or spells. Like I I tried to help her when she was in the hospital, cause she was really still eating junk food. Yeah. And so. They was ready to do another, try to do surgery and, you know, find something. They kept her for like almost a month because she had health insurance. And so, um, she was like, they going to do this. They kept, they drained her and they was like, because she had bleeding. So she had this bleed and they was like, they don't know, you looking bad. And, um, so at that time I had went home, started doing all types of spells, meditating. Like I could do, I can meditate to help. Did you say spells? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, my mental spells when I meditate. Oh, okay. It's like I was, I was, I, I create certain spells. So I was trying to meditate the healer yeah. from home. Okay. Cause you know what I'm saying, even though I took her the juices and the smoothies, she didn't eat them when I go back. Well, what you do is you have to imagine that person in a happy state mm-hmm. and doing something that they enjoy doing. Mm-hmm. And envision, visualize them doing that. Right. That's what you do. Mm-hmm. Very simple, okay. But you have to do it um, consistently, right? But you see them happy, mm-hmm. you know, doing something they love to do. Mm-hmm. She loved putting flowers together, right? You see her doing that again, okay. And imagine that, you okay. Know, that you're there too, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. But you just use your imagination. Yes, it's because I'm. I'm trying. Like I was. I was at that. Like I had that state. Like a couple of times. But like. If my mother, we on a, me and my mother good, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, my mother my only connection, so it was hard to, to let it go, you know what I'm saying? And then, if we cool for a second, then me and my wife will get into it. And she, she like, she acting more like me. It's like, she done, she became me. Like, I was, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a little my mother, and she was always, you know... The comforter, but now she like me, and so it's like it's like they blocking, and now she don't want to. You know what I'm saying? Like you could tell that she not into it because we just moving. I don't get no smoothies. Like she don't need. It's like it's like and then it's like I'm, then I be feeling like she treat the kids like step kids. You know what I'm saying? Like she'll run for the daughter, my stepdaughter, because she got sickle cell. But we know it's just eating. So if you ain't gonna tell her to do nothing, like her room full of junk. It's hiding candies and because st- I won't if it's in the fridge I throw it out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But her room full of junk food. Mm-hmm. Right. So I can't really be a father to her. And you know what I'm saying like you the my my kids know that like she don't and she stay in the room. Yeah. You know what I'm saying she dance dance stay in the room she a dancer but don't want to eat right they don't even go together mm-hmm. so I'm like. And so, we like, we've been beefing because, like, for her 16th birthday, because I have a party bus. Oh, before, you do? Mm-hmm, I got a party bus. And the, but I don't drive that much because I, I, I work. Then I got, the, I got the kids most of the time. Yeah. My wife, she work in nursing. She like a CNA, so she working 12 hours, three days, and then that. Mm-hmm. But, so for the 16th birthday, she was going to take, she was like, she wanted to go, she wasn't going to. She was Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They was gonna go out. Her, my stepdaughter, and her girlfriend, right? Mm-hmm. And they was gonna go to a. It was some type of restaurant, but it was all candy. Candy. It was a candy restaurant. Really? I was like, I'm not participating in that. I say, <coughs> she got single cell, and we got kids. Yeah. So I'm like, the kids gonna feel some type of way. Y'all gonna stay in a hotel, and you gonna take a single cell kid to the. To a candy restaurant because that's what you wanted for a sixty. Oh, yeah. I said that hey, you you confusing it, so you saying it's okay. Yeah. And so, no, I'm like no. Wow. So I she's a nurse. She is, she in nursing, but she know she know what it is no, like. But see, it's like should, it's counterproductive. Should know. It's counterproductive at sixteen because you gonna you know if we trying to convince her like it's already a battle because these kids 
and it's just it's recent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We just switched our dad. You know it works, so we know the formula work, but it gotta be consistent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you can't, to, like, so anyway, when you're meditating, it mm-hmm. just take, oh, this is what uh, I learned online.